Let's do a vector field. Uh, so right here we see a vector field. Uh, so within this vector field looks like uh, if you were to place a particle within it, uh, the particle would go on a circular path. Uh, so imagine uh, you had a little, or yeah, you go to the, the mall and there's that thing where you put the penny in and it just keeps going and going and going and going. Uh, that actually has a sink in the middle. I don't believe this one has a, a sink in the middle, uh, but it will just essentially keep going and going and going in a circle. Uh, and that's this function right here, where we have uh, x is equal to y, y equals negative x, and z equals zero. Uh, so let's see uh, what we could change in here to make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, let's say x is equal to uh, y times z, y is equal to x times z, and z equals y times x. So if we take a point, uh, it would essentially be coming in this way and then going out that way. Draw it. And let's go ahead and, and draw that. So we start here and we go into the vector field and then we go out of the vector field. I'm just going to go ahead and draw arrows to show that it is entering and exiting. And then uh, let's go ahead and move that point uh, and see, uh, see some other sample points. Okay. Over here, uh, we have something similar going on where it would, it would come in and then it would go out again. So we have it going in and going out. And we're going to do this a, a few more times to give you a, more of an intuition for uh, what a vector field like this would actually be uh, doing with particles that may uh, go into that field. If you can just grab it. Yeah, if I could just grab this. Ah, there we go, perfect. Okay. Now we have another one over here. Uh, where it enters over here. And it exits over here. And it's not quite perfect, but it's close enough to build the intuition. Uh, and then let's move this point. And now let's plot this one. We see that it would enter here and exit there. And let's do uh, one more. If I could just, ah, first try. Good job, Keita. Good job. Okay. Now we see that it would enter over here again, but this time it goes up. Uh, so the point's slightly different. Cool. So, if we look, we can see that in general, it looks like things, uh, you know, come in and go out. They come in and go out. Uh, this is a interesting uh, function where, depending on what part of it, uh, you're going to be coming out a different end. So, what happens if we place that point exactly at the origin? Uh, so, exactly at the origin this way, we see that it goes straight in, straight out, pretty much. Vertical line in, vertical line out. And if we were slightly off the origin this way, uh, we would see that would go straight in, straight out. Uh, so when you get closer to the origin, uh, any little modification actually makes a big difference in terms of which path it ends up traversing. But this also gives you pretty good intuition to say that whether it's at 1, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, negative 1, or 1, negative 1, it's going to be uh, going down completely different paths even though it's